Brian Mounts. I run TurfMechanic.com and this, the Turf Mechanic YouTube channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about soaker hoses. Over on the website, we get questions somewhat frequently uh, from homeowners who are running gardens predominantly, uh, trying to figure out why their soaker hose is uh, watering uh, whatever surface it is that they're using it on unevenly. Uh, there are a handful of reasons for that. It's hard to diagnose exactly the reason uh, for everyone, but the vast majority of people who run soaker hoses, the main reason why it might not be soaking evenly across your garden bed is because of water pressure. Now, having said that, I'm assuming that your garden bed is flat. If the hose is going up a large slope, then that's going to be a big factor. Uh, the more of a slope or the more elevation changes, say it's got a hump in it, um, that will affect the evenness of water distribution. But assuming that your hose is flat, the main problem has to do with water pressure. Now, the vast majority of homes uh, in the United States tend to have water pressure uh, for their outdoor, honestly, for, for everything, really. Uh, their water pressure use, usually is in the kind of 50 PSI range. So let's just call it 40 to 60 PSI. That's generally normal. Um, soaker hoses, however, if you were to uh, put 40, 50, 60 PSI onto a soaker hose like this, it would just blow out. Like, there are tons and tons of little pores on this that are supposed to weep water. And the harder that pressure is, the water starts literally squirting out of these pores. And over time, we'll start causing rips. And um, yeah, and then certain areas are gonna be overwatered quite a bit compared to other areas of the hose that uh, maintain their structural integrity. Typically, uh, soaker hoses optimally run in the 10 to 20 PSI range, which means that if you are running one right off of your garden and you don't have a flow reducer um, disc in there, this hose, for instance, does not. This new hose, which I have not used yet, comes with a small plastic flow reducer in there, and that will decrease the pressure in this. So if you go to your spigot and you turn it on, uh, it's going to be coming out, you know, roughly 50 PSI. This flow reducer is going to protect the hose and allow it to run uh, or saturate your ground on a more even uh, controlled um, amount, quantity of water, I guess. Uh, if you don't have a disc or maybe the disc fell out or it got damaged, lost, whatever, you can go out to probably like a Home Depot or any kind of home uh, home improvement store, a plumbing store. Uh, you can very easily find, and certainly online too, you can find what are called, uh, oh, it's basically a connection. You can just, you can just connect this to a uh, flow restrictor. It's basically a reducer of uh, a pressure reducer. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so it'll take the 50 and you can bring it down to say 25 or you can you can bring it straight down to 10. Some of them, some of the fancy ones, you can kind of choose which PSI you want it to go through. Uh, but if you've got a hose like this with just a little plastic thing, I'll throw a little picture on there so you can see it better. Uh, that does just as good. Uh, this hose right here, I'm not going to coil it all up for you, but this is a 25 foot hose. The shorter the hose is, the lower the pressure should be. So if you've got a 25 foot hose, or if you cut it and, you know, cut it to size and it's less than that, you want to err on, you know, the lower side, closer to 10 PSI. This is a 50 hose, a uh, 50 footer. You could probably push 15. Uh, most uh, soaker hoses only go up to about 100 uh, feet. It's not usually recommended to go longer than that. If you have a 100 foot hose, or say for instance, you link two 50 footers together, you can probably push 20 PSI. But once you get beyond that, uh, it starts really damaging the hose. So 
Now, that's also to say, don't have your, you know, I mean, don't have your pressure too high, but the other, the other side is also kind of bad too. So if you're having low or uh, poor water distribution out of your hose, it might even be because your flow has been reduced too much and the pressure might be too low. Uh, that's another common problem. People try to reduce it, trying to make sure that everything is fine. But if it goes too low, then where the water goes in is going to experience more internal pressure than the very end where it's capped. And uh, lots of times you'll get a little bit more water coming out towards the head and less towards the foot. So it's good. What I recommend to do is to like literally lay this out on a sidewalk in a long straight length. Get, um, get your pressure regulator set up, connect it uh, to the water, turn it on, and get an idea as you watch the water flow on the sidewalk uh, if it appears to be flowing evenly. Um, that is even more the case if you've got an old hose, say something you bought a year or two ago. Uh, because sometimes those have been damaged uh, just through regular use. Uh, here at my property, we run on well water. There's lots of uh, there's lots of sediment, not sediment, but like calcium minerals that can that flow through the water. We have to regularly clean things inside the house um, and on the outside. If you use a soaker hose for a good long time, there's uh, there's the possibility that you might have some calcification going on on the inside of your hose too and You know, I mean just like you might run vinegar through a coffee maker that would probably solve the problem here But who the heck is gonna send vinegar through their soaker hose? Um, I can't imagine that Possibly being a solution if you've got a calcified hose where it's just clogged some of the pores are clogged in various segments of it It might just be worth buying a new one these things on the low end don't cost very much. Um, I just bought this at a local store for like 10 bucks. I'm sure there's some really fancy ones out there that you can, you know, you could probably spend 50, 100 bucks if you really wanted to, but there certainly isn't any. Uh, anyway, those are the main reasons why your soaker hose won't be um, spreading evenly. So uh, take a look at your own system and see if that solves any of your problems.